Hi everyone, welcome to St. Catherine's College, also lovingly known by all of us here as CATS. My name is Tharshan and I'm a second year studying history here at CATS. Behind me we have the Porter's Lodge and the Porter's Lodge will be the first place you see when you come to the college. So why don't we head right in and have a look. So this is the Porter's Lodge. The Porters are there 24-7 for whatever needs you have. Sorting your mail, giving your keys and just being there if you need them. Welfare doesn't just stop at the Porters and we have a very dedicated team all around the college to help you. We have a welfare officer, a college nurse, many, many counsellors and lots of tutors that are academics who are there for your pastoral support. We also have a very dedicated JCR student committee that is there for many ranges of responsibilities, whether it's about accommodation, food or welfare. Another really important part about our welfare team is our lovely college chaplain, Ali. She's there for everyone, regardless of your religion or beliefs. So this is Sherlock Court, which is where a lot of the first years and third years live. Right back there in M Block is where I lived last year. And the great thing about college life is that you will be so close to the people you live with. Over here we have a lovely seating area where we've had lunch and picnics before. And I've often just sat there and curled up with a good book. Hi, my name is Nikita. I'm a third year engineer at CATS and this is the CATS bar. We like to come here, whether it's during the day to grab a coffee or during the night to grab a drink. During exam season, when you want to work with your friends but you don't want to sit in the library in silence, I like to come here with my friends, grab some food, grab a quick snack. Also, we come here after our formal halls, which are sort of fancy dinners where you dress up nicely with your gown and then you have a four course meal with the special cat's cheese course at the end. You can also play pool, I'm pretty bad at pool, or table football. Just enjoy your time with your friends and relax. Here at CATS, we have two 24-7 libraries. There is the Sherlock Library, a sort of 18th century, traditional Cambridge Field old looking library. There's also the Shakespeare Library, which is a lot more modern. But between those two, you end up having a lot of study space. You can have all your meals here at CATS. The dining hall is being renovated at the moment, but I'm sure when you get here it'll look great. And you can have breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, that's a favourite on a Saturday and a Sunday. There are a range of options for food. There's vegan, vegetarian, halal options. If you need anything, you could always ask the catering staff. And it's all very reasonably priced. In your time here, you may come across the phrase JCR. JCR sort of stands for the Junior Common Room. Essentially, there are two parts to the JCR. It is the student body and a committee of representatives for various issues. There's also the room, the JCR. You can go there to say, play on the PS4 with your friends or to attend Smoothie Society to make your favorite smoothies, attend Nittens. Smoothie Society and Nittens are a cat special only, but JCRs you'll find across all colleges in Cambridge. Hi, my name's Amy. I am a second year history student at Katz College and I'm going to give you a tour of the second year Katz accommodation, St Chad's, which is two minutes this way. But right now I am here on Sidgwick site, which is where the humanities faculties are situated. And that's really handy because you can roll straight out of bed from Chad's in the morning to your 9am lectures five minutes in this direction we have the Cambridge Town Centre and then to our left here we have the University Library. I am going to take you with me to Chad's and I'm going to give you a little tour. I'm here at St Chad's. On my right is the University Rugby Club and behind me is a bus stop which is also really useful if you're a science or medical student because it takes you to the science faculties. We're in the garden right now. It's a really lovely place to come and hang out, to have a break from work. If it's sunny, lots of people come out here, do a bit of yoga, do a workout, come and eat their dinner on these benches. My room is up here in the Chad's accommodation blocks. 
I have a really lovely room. It has a lot of floor space and high ceilings. So it has a really spacious feel. And I have lovely views out onto the rugby club and beyond, which are nice when I'm sitting at my desk. Hi, my name's Jonathan. I'm a second year engineer, and I also live here in Shad. So I really like living here because all of the second years are together. And that means there's a real sense of like community because it's flat, so you get to be with a lot of your friends. We're still very close to everything. For me, going to the department, it's only a five minute cycle. We're only five minutes away from our sports grounds at the courts, and that's where you can play badminton, tennis, squash, and also loads of field sports like hockey or football. 